Hey guys, welcome back to RHR Jen. I'm so glad you're here, you guys. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. So we had Prince, we have Prince William at Earthshot. I want to talk about that. And then we're going to go into, oh, we got two videos of Prince William that I really love. One has to do with a very cute dog and one has to do with the lovely Catherine. So we'll look at that. And then I want to talk about what's going on with Harry and Meghan and the news there. So this is cut from our live chat last night. If you missed it, I would encourage you to go back and watch it. It got spicy, but I had a special guest with me, my mom. That's right. My mom came on the live chat. Now, let me explain. My mom is the sweetest person in the whole world and very, very shy. So she would not even sit behind the microphone. She was too nervous. So she sat next to me. People asked her questions. She would tell me the answers. I would say them into the microphone. It was very nice, very sweet, wholesome moment until things got raunchy. <laughs> I was like, mom, mom even talked about HG at one point. I about died. Anyway, go and listen to that if you want to learn more about me. And we were calling her Gigi for Grandma Goose. She was there. Um, and, uh, so definitely check that out. It's like a three and a half hour live. It's nuts, but we had so much fun. Thank you to all that came out and enjoy this portion of the news. And like I said, if you want to see the whole thing, it's up. It's the live from, uh, it would have been Wednesday night. So check that out. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get into this. I'd like to talk about Prince William. Prince William, of course, um, let's see, I'm recording this on Wednesday. So, to, uh, sorry, no, it started today. It was earth shot. Of course, he is in South Africa. I have some news um, about him and some pictures, but I have two videos and I'd like to start with one with a cute dog. I know so many of us are animal lovers. So many of us are Prince William lovers. So shall we take a look? Let me take myself down here. Shall we take a look and see Prince William? I think so too. All right, here we go. You don't have to know what they're saying. He's just petting this cute dog. Like 30 seconds. So she's a Dutch shepherd. Yeah. Uh, he's really calm. He's really calm. So that's it. How cute is that? So he just, I just love any, I pay attention to people around animals. And if they're nice with animals, it usually tells me, okay, they seem cool. But if they're not, you know, if they're like dismissive or whatever, I don't want to be friends with you. So did you see how he got down and just started petting that dog? And I like how he petted his little face and so cute. Um, here, I can actually play it again on uh, mute. There we go. Um, he just sat down, he just got down and played with that dog. And I was like, oh. I like people that do that. But um, so the dog, he's, if you could, it was hard to hear. They were talking to him, but he said, good morning. Somebody's sleepy. I was just like, oh, that's so cute. So cute. So yeah, I want to pet that dog. I want to pet Prince William. Don't ask. Just go with it. I'm probably on a list somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. I'm, I've always said it. I think I really respect William. He's not my, he's not my, he's not my crush like he is the Sidley twins, but I appreciate what he's doing. And I think he's such a cool guy. Um, Let's see. William loves dogs. I know. I love anybody that loves dogs. You'll be, I can be best friends with anybody that loves dogs. In fact, where I don't have one, oh God, wait, uh, I don't mean to keep bringing up that HG thing, but we get into a dog conversation that'll blow your, it'll blow your minds. It's, it's so crazy. Just wait. Again, I laughed so hard. I couldn't breathe during, the, that's during part one. We talk about dogs. Just wait. He says some really messed up stuff. <laughs> no, I love how he was with that dog. It's so cute. So cute. Um, so yeah, I know, right? I think Nancy just fainted. Yeah, because she loves dogs and she loves Prince Williams. Ab Prince Williams? Prince William. Absolutely. So um, there's that. And then I do have another video of Prince William, if you guys want to see it. He's talking about Catherine and he's talking about Charlotte. And I love this video. Do you guys want to watch? Here we go. Let me take down this comment. Wait. All right. Um, here we go. So this is, a, I yeah. think, a, a relic, if you like, from uh, a Taylor Swift concert that my daughter <laughs> uh, decided that she wanted to create a bracelet for, and um, she gave it to me when I came away. So I've, uh, I promised I'd wear it and try not to lose it uh, while I was out here. Um, I can't have you here. Uh, our audiences would want to know how your wife is. It's been a tough year for you. How is the princess? She's doing really well, thanks. And, uh, and hopefully she's watching tonight and um, sort of cheering me on. But uh, no, she's been, she's been amazing this whole year, and um, I know she'll be really keen to see it tonight be a success. Isn't that awesome? So again, he's, I just think he's such a good guy and he's wearing his daughter's bracelet. 
I think that's so cute. Like my kid is super into Taylor Swift too. The Gosling is into Taylor Swift. I know it's not my thing, but she likes her. Um, so I definitely have those bracelets that she's made me that, oh, actually funny story. The Sidley twins sent her a kit. So I, they're the sweetest. They spoil her rotten. But then I found like a hundred thousand pieces of bracelet around my house. I was like, thanks God. Now it's really sweet, but she keeps making me the same thing. So I match Prince William. <laughs> It's so cute. But yeah, so he wore that for Charlotte, which I love. And, and it's nice to hear a little update about Catherine. Yes, he's lovely. He's absolutely awesome. You're right. And such a decent dad and such a decent human. You're right. It's so nice. All right. What else are you guys saying? Um, he has Diana Glint in his eyes. I think so too. I think so too. Um, I do have just a few things to look at with him because there's something on YouTube tonight in case you guys are interested. Let's see here. This was shared by Stephanie of the Sidley Twins. You know, I love the Sidley Twins, which plug for their channel, um, Twin Talk. I asked them if they wanted me to plug anything. They said some stuff fell through. They were going to record, but then they couldn't. And I think Nancy's been out of town. So they do have videos coming. It sounds like a couple in a row, but it might just be a day or two. But but we'll just keep checking back to their channel. As soon as they get stuff up, you know, we'll watch it. We love the Sidley Twins. But Stephanie tweeted this out, letting us know that tonight it's 11 Eastern. And then you'll have to Google what time that is for you. People always ask me. I'm like, I don't know. I just jump on Google. So Google it. And on YouTube is the Earthshot Prize. So again, where they're in South Africa, the time is going to be different. So check that out and, um, give the support there. So there's that. And then there, I love this post. So this was shared. I love this account named Prince Williams jaw. Hello. Um, I think, I think we should have a spare thought for William who has had to shoulder the emotional turmoil of both his wife and father having cancer. He looks leaner and perhaps a bit older, um, and perhaps has a new confidence that the future is looking brighter. I just thought that was so beautifully said. It looks like Jenny Bond was quoted as saying that. I just thought that was a beautiful saying and so lovely. And I, I, I mean, I, honestly, I say the same. I often say we should think about what William's been. I mean, I always think about Catherine, but think about what William's been through his wife and his father and his dreadful, dreadful brother. And all the mud his dreadful, dreadful brother and that one's wife have slung at his wife. I, it's just, it's wild. So I, I often think about Prince William and think about stuff like that because I am an empath. That's something else you'll hear. HG goes in. I mean, he doesn't diagnose me, but he's like, oh my God, clearly you're an empath. He's making fun of me crying on the streams. As I cry on a stream, he's making fun of me crying for the streams. But, um, oh, Stephanie, thank you so much. Sorry, you're having a bad day. Are you dealing... No, it's just, yeah, no, it's just uh, uh, behind the scenes stuff. It's fine. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Let's see. Tragedy makes you grow up very quickly. You're absolutely right. Whoops. You're absolutely right. I think you're spot on. William is a credit to Diana, Charles and the late queen. I think so too. And that's the thing. Think about again, think about how the court is covered up for, for Harry. And then now that he he's on his own. You can see how awful he is, but I feel like William is doing more things. Not, I know he's not on his own, but you get what I'm saying out from under that shell and look at the kind of man that he is. It just, it's what a, what a striking difference. What a night and day difference. So I love William. I think he's just a really cool guy and I'm rooting for him, of course, always and his beautiful wife and children and everybody else. All right, let's look at this. Oh, I did do, Oh, that's the friendship bracelet. I cut, I kept zooming in to try to see what the hell it said, but again, my my vision is fun, so I cannot see what that says. I don't, it may, I don't know. May may say dad. I don't know. I can't tell. Um, okay, and then Royal Blue tweeted this. It says Prince William walks the green carpet for the Earthshot Prize prize ceremony. Arriving in vintage black and white Prince of Wales checked blazer sourced from a vintage shop in London. So I just think that's so cool. That's something he does for these things. And of course, remember Catherine's beautiful green dress. Who could forget? I, I should have brought a picture of that. I didn't, but, um, that beautiful green dress was like a hundred pounds because she did the sustainable where I think she borrowed it, something like that. So 130 pound, um, sustainable trainers. Let's take a look here. We have him right there. Do I love the look? Not really. I don't like the white shoes, but it's fine. Like I appreciate what he's doing. It's I'd rather see this all day long than somebody spending a million dollars on a pair of jean shorts. A la Megan. What was that stupid dress yesterday? Like $35,000. 
is that the right number? Was it $13,000? I don't know. Whatever it was, it was ridiculously expensive. Like, I, I just don't know how it, and he's future king. So I could actually justify if he spends more money on his clothes, but I'm just saying in general, I don't understand how people lose the value of money where they can spend. Even if I'm a billionaire, I can't spend whatever that money was, 13,000, 30,000 on a, on one dress. That is crazy. Anyway, I think he looks, I mean, he looks good. It's not, you know, the sneakers are a little crazy. <laughs> there he is. I just think that's so lovely. I, I just, I don't want to focus on looks. I'm saying like, I think it's cool what he's doing and I'm, I'm all for earth shot. I think this is excellent and I can't wait to watch it. I'll watch it on YouTube. So, um, yeah, let's see. Yeah. He'll make an excellent King. I think so too. Uh, thank you, Teresa. He's proud of his children and his wife. I, I mean, absolutely. And I'm sure they're proud of him too. It was 13,000. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, I hope your friend likes it and shows it to you. That's cool. That's a lot of money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you must have a really good friend. That's cool. Uh, what did I say? See, I make all these jokes and I forget what the hell I said. I said it looks like something. It looks like a cross between Miss Piggy. Who was the other person I said? Her. Who was it? Was it Elvira? No, who was the other person I said? <sighs> See, that was like, I've done four recordings since then, so I can't even remember what I said. But um, yeah, I look like a Miss Piggy dress. That was crazy. 13,500. She should wear those pointy shoes with it. But I hope your friend likes it. I'm sure it'll look fabulous on whoever your friend is. Oh, 13,500. Well, don't worry. Speem's buying one for his friend. So <laughs> it's very generous. <laughs> Hopefully your friend will pay you back somehow. Let's see. Lula's mom said, oh, you're talking to Nosy. I'm <sighs> sliding around in my chair. Let's see. Speem. Speem. I know. I still dig that you changed your name to Speem Banks, by the way. Um, let's see. Cults and cake. Morticia. Thank you. I don't know why. Again, shit day. So my brain's not working, but you guys are pulling me out of it. Morticia and, and Miss Piggy got together and, and got that outfit. Yes. Oh God, that's funny. Thank you guys for the laughs. That's it. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, Tracy Lynn, I can buy an entire wardrobe. I, it's just, I, again, I always say it. If I, one of these days I'm going to be a billionaire. It's just on my to-do list. I set goals for myself. I check them off. That's one of them. No, not billion, maybe with million, but, um, regardless, I just couldn't lose the value of money so much that I spent 13,000 on a dress on a single dress. That's nuts. Listen to each his own. There is stuff I would spend stupid money on. Like, I don't know, but it wouldn't be that. I'd be traveling the world. It would not be a stupid dress. Think about the traveling you could do for $13,500. Sheesh. All right. Um, let's keep going with, let's see. No, wait, that's it for them. Let me do this one and this one's wife, and then we'll get spicy. Let's talk about these two. Now I will put a blanket statement across. Hi, Sarah, without an H. Thanks so much for being here. I don't get political. You know me. I never do. And I won't get political without being political whatsoever. In general, we know who won last night. I don't need to hear your thoughts on it. <laughs> I don't mean that mean. I'm just saying I'm not trying to start any kind of anything. But I can't ignore the fact of who won last night and who is threatening to deport these two or that one, whatever. So there's some funny memes about it. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk about it because I'm not a child. I can talk about it, it's, you know, but I'm really not interested. I don't, I'm not interested in either side. I'm not interested in, in hearing, you know, oh, yay or boo or whatever. It doesn't matter who won, who won. Let's go. So no politics, but we'll just laugh about, um, about some of the, uh, I'm just laughing at your comments. I'll just laugh about some of the memes. So starting with, sorry, I just hit my mic. Starting with this one. Helen says, Montecito is a wash with Markle tears. Harry didn't realize there was an election. I'm surprised. You know what? I wonder if um, she wrote her own name in on the ballot. Just just wondering that. Um, and then, yeah, that, that that's a pretty good picture of Harry. I don't think Harry knows what day it is or where he is at any given time. I really don't. Let's see. Angel 11, who says the big question is, would Megan leave America if Trump asked Harry to leave? So I'm not, listen, I already said I'm not going politics. I'm just talking about deporting Harry and Megan. We're not going to do this. Okay. Um, so what do you think? So I, that would actually be Megan's perfect excuse. Oh no, he's got to leave. So she's going to stay back. I think in her head, she thinks she's the draw anyway. So 
Oh, it says, Jen, your, your Southern's a good thing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't really have much of a Southern accent. It just certain times it flares up a little bit. I don't know. You'll catch an occasional y'all out of me, but mostly I think, uh, in North Florida, we don't really, don't really have that. But anyway, uh, what are your things? Would, would she, um, wait, I'm reading all of your comments. She would never, that's what I think too. I think that it would be a good excuse for her um, to stay behind and send him on. But I wonder if she, if her narcissism, blah, 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 narcissism lets her realize that it's not going to work without, I mean, it doesn't work with him. So, uh, you know, I don't think, I don't know. Sorry. I'm talking in circles. I'm thinking it out as I say this. I just, I don't think her narcissism will let her realize that she needs him. Maybe a small part of her realizes it. So I wonder how that would work. I don't know. Um, she will stay and laugh. Yeah, probably. Uh, oh, heck no, she won't. No, she won't go. I don't think so either. Can they move to Canada? I don't know. I wouldn't do that to, to my to my neighbors to the north. <laughs> we we love our Canadian geese. Harry's already left. I think so too. I don't think permanently, but I don't think HG and I kind of talk about it. I don't mean to keep bringing that up. It's just I just recorded with him, so it's fresh on my mind. But we just talked about that, and both of us think that he was in front of a green screen. I don't think he was actually at his house for that. Um, what was it? NATO thing. I, I don't think so. I'm um, sorry. I'm behind on chat. I'm scrolling to catch up. Let's see. We don't want her in Canada. That's right. We love our Canadian geese. Who wouldn't do that to you? Um, okay. Let's keep going with this. Let's see. Oh, so I wish I could play this. For some reason, I couldn't get the gift to play, but it's Kenneth off of 30 Rock drinking water and he's like shaking and spilling water everywhere. So Stephanie had t <laughs> tweeted that out. <laughs> like, look, Prince Harry right now, <laughs> like very nervous. I assume that's how he always drinks water, like spilling because one, he's a child and two, he, um, he's probably living in fear of Megan. Like, eh, don't, don't leave a ring or whatever, you know, just, I'm sure she's a nightmare to live with. I don't think they live together, but she'd be a nightmare to live with. So I'm sure he's always drinking and shaking. So there's that. Okay. Then Aussie chick. I love Aussie chick. If you're listening, thank you for this. I cracked up. Did I say hi to you, Colts and Cake? Hi, Colts and Cake. And hi, Princess Goose as well. Um, but Aussie Chick shared this, which scares me to my soul. It haunts me. But it's, uh, of course, Omid peeking out of her rear there. And that's because today's video, I talked about Plastic Man. Oh, God. That man? Ugh. Um, but because I did the video today on Omid and that they're up to something. And he's come out from the hole in which he lives in. Um, so, yeah, so I, uh, so I appreciate you, Aussie chick. Sorry, I'm all thrown off and flustered in this chat. All right, Don, Dan Wooten tweeted, why can't I talk? Let me try this again. Dan Wooten tweeted this, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle this morning, realizing they're about to lose the protection of the current administration over deportation court case. My real thoughts on this are, will he be deported? No, I don't think so. I, I think there's just so much... A, we're, you know, our country's kind of on fire. No politics. I'm just saying in general across the board, it just is. There's lots of stuff that needs to get fixed. So I'm sure, I'm sure he won't, but it's sure fun to make him nervous. Now, what I do wonder is things like how he was protected before and they didn't have to reveal some of the records. I wonder if more records will be revealed. And I say, yes, bring that on. Cause I think we'll learn some fun stuff. Hi Zelda. Thanks so much for being here. Um, oh, <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for explaining that. Let's see. Blankety blank. Let's see. Okay. Um, there's that. And then uh, there's this. Lindy Lou who shared this with me, which I thought was very funny. Time to take out the trash. There you go. <laughs> with those two. And then that one shared this, which is Meghan Markle on her way to the airport after the election. And again, I can't, for some reason, it's not playing, but you can, you get the idea. It's an ostrich that is running very fast with its crazy skinny legs. That just made me laugh. And then I, let's see, we have this one from this one from that one that says the two grifters in Montecito mansion. Uh, he's saying Trump won and she's saying it's all your fault. That sounds right. I wonder if she laid on the floor crying. That's pretty funny. And then on this last one, Honorable Lady E says how Megan went to the... Oh, I wanted to talk about this briefly. Okay. In case you missed it, what's going on is Daily Mail ran a story reminding us all about the crazy birth story. And what's interesting about that and what people are bringing up is, hmm, 
it's interesting to go back and remind us all that there was a crazy birth story. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder if something's on the horizon. I wonder if people, I wonder if something's going to, like, they, they're speculating that maybe a story is going to run and they're reminding everybody first, like, hey, remember, this is kind of weird, right? I don't know if it's to get more people to check into it or if it's just to remind everybody before something drops or what, but it, that is one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my life. Like that whole, remember, it was, I, not to go back to her, but basically first time mom, supposedly, uh, allegedly, what, had two epidurals, was able to go home two hours later. Mm, I'm not a doctor, but I, that, no, <laughs> like, I, I wasn't even allowed to walk two hours later. That's not a thing. Like, not for me anyway. Like, and I know a lot of moms in the chat chimed in and said, no. You can't do that. But for her, it's totally fine. No problem. Sure. That's perfectly normal. But anyway, um, so I think it's interesting and I'm curious to see where it goes from here and and if we're going to see more stuff like this coming out. So we'll see what happens. It's juicy. But that's the news I got for Harry and Megan. They're still not doing anything. I feel like it's coming. And normally by now they would do something to try to upstage William. But again, where it was the election and stuff. Um, I think they just know that they wouldn't make any kind of dent in the news, so they're not doing it. But I feel like it's coming. <laughs>